from the noisiest neighborhood in the known universe, welcome to Smoky Goodness and welcome to my official contest entry into the Ballistic Barbecue 4th Annual uh, Grilling Contest um, for 2013. Today we're getting kind of a late start because of the combination of the ambient temperatures which have been hot all day long and the perishable nature of some of the ingredients I'm going to be using for the sandwich that I'm going to prepare for Greg's Sandwich Grilling contest theme video or something. Um, I've got a lot of things out here that are perishable. Uh, we don't want the mayo to go bad. We don't want the watercress to uh, get wilty or anything. So rather than do the tour out here, I will introduce some of the ingredients as they're used, or as they're you know, put into play with this uh, recipe, which is probably a sandwich that is going to consist of not only part of the London broil that we made last week. You know, I made that we ate about half of it, sliced up the other half. I knew, rather than going for leftovers the rest of the week, I knew I had to freeze it. I didn't know why, now I do. It's gonna be a London broil sandwich. Uh, we're gonna have some really good stuff with it. Like I mentioned, the watercress. We're gonna have a lemon peppery mayo uh, type of dressing going on. We've got pretzel bread with it too something that is becoming really, really popular thanks to John over at Man Cave Meals. He kind of lit the fire on this uh, storm of uh, interest in pretzel bread. So we're going to be trying that. we got a whole bunch else too. So uh, before the sun goes down, it gets too completely dark out here. I'd better get going. So stick around, Herb. So ladies and gentlemen, that's Levi, our resident fire bug and expert fire starter. Uh, there's nothing I like more than the smell of burning lump charcoal on a hot night in Tornado Alley. Okay, and if it appears as though I've got a whole lot of charcoal in here, there's a lot of unburnt natural hardwood uh, briquette charcoal in here from a previous queue. Using lump charcoal, the reason for that is could there be another Smoky Goodness video to be recorded tonight? It's a distinct possibility. Because like I mentioned before, at Smoky Goodness, the party never ends. As always, we'll start off with a nice clean grate. Even though we're not putting anything on the grate per se tonight good habit to get into because as everybody knows cleanliness is next to pit mastery. We're going to start off with this griddle. Uh, this is a tea fall griddle if that matters and what we're going to do is we're just going to lay it on the uh, grill and get it kind of warming up a little bit opposite the hot coals and we'll be right back. A couple of minutes has gone by the griddle is coming up to temperature I'll start off with some coconut oil. Well, it's partially liquefied, look at that, huh? <laughs> Just gonna throw a little of this on the griddle. Not a lot, a tiny bit more. All right, here we go. This is uh, the remainder of the leftover London broil from last week. It's been in the freezer all week and it's still cold. It's still a little partially frozen, but that's okay. Kind of wanted it that way. All we're going to do is set it on this griddle as far away from the coals as possible. I just want to bring this up very, very slowly. So very, very slowly is just exactly what we're going to do because uh, this London broil, if you can see it, camera here is cooked to a perfect medium rare and I don't want to screw that up we want to keep this as medium rare as is possible all right at this stage of the game things are going to be going pretty darn quickly so we got to do this quickly while the uh, London broil is warming up I have an avocado a lemon some mayo and uh, some uh, McCormick's Grillmate uh, lemon pepper with herb seasoning, good stuff. So, don't need that right now. What we're gonna do is zest this lemon. 
making the dressing for the sandwich. Mayo! And we're gonna dump a healthy amount of that in here. Some seasoning. And I'm eyeballing everything here. No specific amounts. See that? Perfect. All right, that's our seasoning. I'm gonna get this back in the fridge for now, even though everything's coming along really quick, just to be on the safe side, you know? A few more ingredients. There you go, this is our, uh, our pretzel bread, and this is Cahill Porter. Uh, some red wine cheddar cheese. It's gonna be excellent on this. Man, that's looking good. All right, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna cram it all into the coolest corner I can find, and on goes some Cahill Porter. Red wine, cheddar cheese. Frickin' delicious. Okay, and very quickly, toast up this bread and we get a little oil on there. This is a really hearty bread too, so rock. have our killer dressing here. Pour it all over the sandwich. I have avocado. Gotta have avocado. Shut up, dog. And of course, tomato. You gotta have tomato. An excellent sandwich like this. Gotta be done. Man, this thing is, uh, it's like Dagwood times three, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, let's, uh, Let's cut into this bad rabbit and see what we have. Mm -hmm. Look at that. But how does it taste there, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy? Gonna find out right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, at first I thought, this isn't going to be any good. I'm setting the bar low, low enough for everyone to skate right over in this contest, but uh, this rocks, man. Wow. See you later. Stick around, Herb.